Hello everyone, and welcome to LNS. Um, this time, like I said, I'm going to show you guys button base. And so, give me a second here to see if I can get it up on the stream <coughs> so I can actually show you guys what button base actually looks like. Just in case, you know, you want to use it for your own purposes, I suppose. I suppose that makes sense. And uh, forgive me if I uh, keep clearing my throat. My uh, throat is really bugging me. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. And if you hear a, a click or a pop or something, that's probably me muting my microphone to cough because my throat is really bugging me for some reason. I think about going and getting some water, but I might I might go ahead and do that while I leave you guys with some music. So I'm waiting for it to load, because it's taking forever. Alright, let me see here real quick. I'm going to see if I can show you guys what the cube looks like. Uh, let's see. Window capture. If I do this one. I suppose that would work, right? Maybe? Or is it because it's minimized? Hold on. It might be because it's minimized. Does that work? No. Why is it white? That's, that's not what it's supposed to be. Okay, give me a second. Maybe it's because it's not loaded yet. So give it a second here. Uh, and that can go away. What is this? Is that Sims? No, I don't know what it is. It's a... Um, commercial on Twitch. Oh, it is Sims. Sims 4. Okay. <coughs> is this cube going to work or not? I don't even know if it's going to work. It's trying to load, but it's not doing a very good job. Yeah, see, the window capture isn't working very well. Um, maybe there's a better one that I can pick? Nope. That's the only one. Maybe if I do entire window? Maybe that'll be better? No, it's still white and crappy looking. Not to mention it's not even fitting on the screen correctly. Um, let's see. Try that. Wow, that's not... Nothing's working. I don't, for the life of me, understand why it won't capture my window correctly. It's not minimized. And it doesn't at all look like that. What? Okay, what the hell is going on here? Okay, so now I have it on Twitter. And it's still not capturing Twitter. What the hell is wrong with this thing? It's just capturing this white screen. So I'm guessing that the internet doesn't work. It doesn't capture the actual internet. Which is really stupid. Because I, I don't think... Wait. It, this might work. Let me try this. Does that work? No, of course not. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that, uh, that doing the application through game mode would work, but it doesn't work at all. Oh wait, maybe it's because it's minimized? <clears throat> okay, so does that work? No, of course not. Nah, of course not. Well, I could always do monitor capture. Uh, give me just one moment. 
That's going to be really annoying, I know. There. Hopefully this should be capturing correctly. I, I can't seem to capture my internet window. I don't know why, but it just won't let me. <clears throat> so anyway, this is the uh, EDM Cube 1. You can have show keys on, this way you can uh, use the keyboard keys to make your own music. and sync it. See, just like that. It's very cool. Um, I like it a lot. You can click them to... That one's horrible. Dominator. I don't know what this is. Oh, right. It like refreshes it or something. But see, it's pretty cool. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, all you have to do is do the auto mix, and it will do this auto mix, and I'll leave it on so you guys can see it fire and everything like that, but I will go back to my visualization sometime. I'm just going to show you guys all three cubes. Um, so right now I'll leave you with some music. I'm going to go get some water, and I'm going to set up everything that I need to set up so that things are not so bad. And I will see you guys in just a moment. Later.
Okay, sorry about that. I realized that uh, since I'm monitor sharing, I can't exactly do everything that I need to do while showing you guys this cube, because it's just not going to work. And if I don't... I mean, if I do window capture, like I said, it doesn't load. It shows just this white window, which is stupid. I don't understand why it does this, but it sure shows that stupid crap down there. That, uh, dumb thing wanting to download, whatever the hell it wants to download. Oh, it still wants to download? Really? No, I don't want you to download. At all. I never said I wanted to download anything, so you're not downloading anything. Uh, let's see, I got a Twitter notification. Is that a notification? Huh. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up my visualization because this is just junk. I don't know what is wrong with its window capture, but it, it's horrible. Just so everybody knows. And now it's not even working. I'm ticking it on and off and it's not even working now. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so I don't understand at all what is wrong with this thing. Maybe it's because it's off-center, and I don't even know why it is, but it is. Like, see, that's that's full. It was off-center like this, I don't know why. But this this is still what it looks like. It doesn't make any sense. It's not capturing the window correctly, it, it's just capturing this whiteness. So... Since that's going to be a bag of dicks like that, I will just go ahead and open up Media Player so I can get you guys my visualization. I'll uh, leave you with the music. Hold on just one moment. I'm going to go ahead and mute that because I don't want any freaking copyright crap. Because for some reason, for me to run my visualization, I have to actually be running Media Player. I can't just switch over to the visualization. I have to actually be running a song. So I can just, like, start it and then pause it or something. There we go. Now it should work. Let's just go ahead and grab that real quick. Actually, no, not there. That's right. That is supposed to be the Binding of Isaac. <laughs> This might be a little bit more tough. There we go. <clears throat> okay, there's the visualization. Now, let's go ahead and leave you with some music while I get everything ready. Sorry about that again. Take it easy. Okay, again, forgive me, our internet is absolute shit. Yeah, buttonbase.com is not responding, that's kind of obvious. <coughs> I don't know what is wrong with this internet. It's a joke, though. It really is. Because it says it's like 52 megabytes or something like that, and it's not 52 megabytes at all. In any way, shape, or form. It's like 1.5 and you can't even get that much speed out of it. Uh, I gotta go ahead and hide that video preview. Let me try again real quick. Hopefully this should work.
Alright, yeah, sorry about that. I'm feeling pretty excited about that, eating up 15 minutes of my stream time. That's pretty amazing. Now, without further ado, let's get to the Binding of Isaac. Because there is much work that needs to be done. Give me one moment. Getting rid of all my banners. And let's go ahead and start it up. Now I'm going to have to switch to it so it's not going to be as seamless as it usually is because I was messing around trying to get the window to work and it didn't work at all. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. I think that's what I need. There we go. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord. Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room, away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me. To prove your faith, I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement, hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Okay, so who is ready for some more Binding of Isaac Rebirth? Let's get into it. Let's get that third negative piece. Man, I've been I've been wanting it for so long. Well, actually, no, we're not. Remember, I said this week we're doing challenges. So let's do it. Ugh, first one's pitch black. Not a fun challenge. Let me see if I can get this to be a little bit brighter. I'm gonna bump the gamma up to like 125 or something like that. I think that should probably help. That should make it so that people on stream can actually see. Okay, so the difficulty with this challenge is that everything is really dark. And it stays dark for the whole entirety of the run. Now you only have to beat Mom in the darkness, but it still stands to reason that it's a little bit tricky. And some of these challenges I don't even know about, actually. There we go. Sloth is finally dead. Dropped a card. Maybe it's the Joker. Probably not. I believe the... Uh, I don't know if I want the tick. Ah, it's the two of diamonds. That's not very useful. <clears throat> so you can't get achievements when you're in... Um, when you're doing challenges. 
but doing challenges in themselves are achievements. But you can't get like awards for uh, for finding stuff. I believe that's how it works. Like if I was to find new items and challenges, it would not archive them. So I'll have to remember that. And I don't need to really pick up stuff for the archive because it's not gonna be archived anyway. Um, I could see this this room being very easy with Azazel, but not so easy with Isaac. Well, let's try and see. If yeah, well, at least we got one of them killed pretty easily. This one I fear is gonna... oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna blow up. Usually the black champions blow up, but maybe he's not black. Maybe he is dark green? Oh, nope, he did blow up. It just had to be full killing, I guess. Soul Heart? Not bad. Let's go see what's in the item room. Uh, Speedball? I'd rather have Synth Oil, but uh, I suppose I'll take it. Alright, let's see. Do we go to the Curse Room? Well, the, the problem is we can't tell our life either, so you know what? I'm not going to do anything that requires life. Anything. Deals with Devil, anything. It doesn't matter. All we gotta do is get to Mom, so it doesn't matter. We already have Cellar unlocked, so I don't need to worry about that. Besides, even if I did that, I don't think it would unlock Cellar anyways. You bastard. Yeah, I'm noticing that the uh, the blood shots they fire much faster now. Because I was watching one of Northern Lion's really old videos, and I was like, man, these blood shots, they're so easy to dodge. In my game? Uh, no. Yeah, they're, they're fast as hell. And the bony bones are even faster. So, yeah, apparently that's why he gets easy runs, because, I mean, I could dodge anything that... God dang it, get off of me, bastard. I'm not doing any damage, that's the problem. And I have no idea what my health is either. Well... I know I need red hearts, so I'm gonna go grab those red hearts. Good. And I guess we'll grab the belt. I don't think it's gonna be useful. I think it would be dangerous. Because the speed is gonna start getting a little out of control. But as you can see, we only have to go to mom. We only have to beat mom, and then the challenge is complete. And you do unlock something for challenges. So I've done this on my single player, or well, I think it was on the Torrent version though. And it unlocks like a rune or something for the game, so that could be useful. Could be something that will really help out the main game, I don't know. This is a lot of poop. And you may be thinking to yourself, are you really going to sit here and shoot all this poop? Oh yes I am. There's an arcade on this level, my friends. And we could possibly get some hearts and some money to play in that arcade. With a run where you can't tell how much life you have, you really need to get everything... Wait, is that a Tinted Rock? I don't think that's Tinted Rock. Doesn't look like it. I don't see any. Gotta say, this is a little easier to play with the Gamma up, though. I did not do this for um, my other single player version. And it was a pain in the ass. Would you please just die? I, I don't like these things. There we go. Um, we do have a bomb, but I don't really know if I need red hearts that badly. Oh god, why does it have to be envy? Why do we have to fight two mini bosses? Oh well, this is a uh, cellar, so I guess it makes sense. And I don't know if you can do seated runs for challenges. I don't. I don't actually think you can. I mean, there is a seed, but I don't think that it would cause it to be a challenge run. I could be wrong though. I could be completely wrong. And nobody's in the chat to tell me if I'm wrong or not, so I don't know. I'm just I'm gonna assume that it won't work. 
that you could run this seed, but it would not be a challenge run. Jeez. Oh, you bastard. Usually Envy doesn't hit me, but look at all these little Envies. And I have no damage. None at all. I haven't picked up one single damage upgrade. And that's why this is so painfully slow. And by painfully slow, I mean, damn, this is painfully slow. Come on, just die already. Finally. All that for troll bomb and a normal bomb. Great. Well, I took some uh, hit, so I definitely could use the red heart. I'll take it. Oh god, stupid spiders. No, spider. Whoa. No. But yeah, that's one thing that I'm noticing, like I said, is that blood bullets travel so much slower in the older version of Binding of Isaac. The one that Northern Lion's playing in the videos that I'm watching. I, I can't believe it. It's like, I don't know why they made them travel that much faster. I mean, this right here feels like it should be hard mode, sort of. I don't even want to know what hard mode is like. I mean, normal mode is hard enough. I don't think I'll ever get to hard mode. And if there's achievements in hard mode, well, screw them. I'm never going to get them. Because <laughs> this is hard enough. And I mean, the game gets harder as you go along and unlock stuff. Because I unlock the everything is terrible mode, which means the game is harder. Eek. So, who even needs hard mode? If the game is just gonna get harder passively like that, I mean... Who needs hard mode? Don't even know why they would add in a hard mode. But I would imagine that I'm gonna see Northern Lion play it. I just, I wonder what he thinks of Krampus' head now. Now that it has a six room charge time. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna think it's way more balanced, which is true, but is it as useful as it used to be? I... I would chance a guess that he's gonna probably say no. That it's not worth it. That's the way I feel anyway. Wow, this was a great arcade. That was a great arcade, wow, just one little blood donation machine, are you kidding me? This is the latest arcade ever. I didn't see any tinted rocks, so I'm guessing there are none, and let's go to the boss. It's Pin! Pin's not too bad. That's not Pin. It's just a normal enemy. Oh god. Why is he so fast? Is it because it's sellers? Is it because it's a challenge? I don't know. But this does not look like what I was just watching. I just saw Northern Lion fight Pin too in like episode 50 of his runs of Binding of Isaac Rebirth and he was super slow and this is not slow. I could slow him though. Might as well. Let's get some extra hits in here. Oh, that didn't help much. Oh my god, what the hell was that? That was genuinely freaky. Oh god. Can you maybe just pop up so I can get a couple free hits? That would be nice. Oh, or you can just do that over and over again. And let me run into your bullets. That's, that's a good idea. Are you ever going to just pop up and try and do the explosion? Explosive? There we go. Finally. I'll just use the two of diamonds, might as well. Let's just get an ass load of money that I don't need. Latchkey! Again, not a useful item. This run is giving us zero damage upgrades, which means it's probably gonna be a loss. 
Because, like I said, zero damage upgrades equal a loss. Because mom's mom is gonna take like 20 minutes to kill, and that's you know saying that you get no damage, which let's be honest, that's not gonna happen with me. Would you please pop up? Really? Thank you. God, I hate these guys so much. They are horrible. They just sit here and stalk you and then randomly pop up or don't pop up ever. Come on. No. Yeah, I was like, you better die. Whoa. Oh, th this room is not good. Well, it wasn't too bad. Nope. Now, oh, see, I was gonna dodge you. I'm not going down there. I know you'll chase me. I know your guys' is AI. I understand the tactics. Whoa, geez, that one's fast. I think he's gonna drop extra gold, I believe? Because he looks like he's yellow. Yeah, oh, no, battery, okay. Not like a battery is that useful. I don't use spider butt that much. But maybe we'll hang on to it. Uh, you know, I could use it in this mob trap room, maybe. Sure, why not? Get rid of these guys, because they're freaking annoying anyway. Just slow them down for now. Oh, there we go. We didn't like that, did you? Oh, I probably should have used on these guys. Completely forgot they were the second one. Or second wave. Great. This should be fun. And by fun, I mean this is going to take forever. As you can tell, they're not dying. Um, thank you for finally dying. Okay. Now they're back with a vengeance. That's okay. Oops. The more hits you can get on them while they're down in a puddle of goo, the more chances you have of killing them. There we go. Two left. We got this. One left. There we go. Now it's just stupid maws and their horrible shots that are almost impossible to dodge. For a, for a first floor enemy, I think they fire too often is what the problem is. Yeah, that, that's probably what makes them so difficult, is the fact that they're incredibly accurate and they fire way too often. Because I've been trying to put my finger on it, what makes the Maws so difficult, because they don't seem that hard. But it's the fact that they fly, they're really, really accurate with their shots, and um, their shots travel too fast, and they fire too often. If they fired just like 0.5 seconds less than what they do right now, they would be so much easier. And I mean, that's not much. It's not much of a difference, but it would make a big difference. Which one is this? Is that, uh, Capricorn? Yes, Capricorn, all sets up. That is good. That is good, I will welcome that. Because that means damage up. I welcome damage up. Uh, stars. Um, not gonna be particularly useful right now, because we just found the item room. Not getting that, unless I can find some way of flying, and I just took damage there. Which is great, too, because I don't even know how much life I have. I could be on... well, I'm not on half a heart. Because you can tell when you're on half a heart, because Isaac will pee in the room, I guess? I mean, I guess that's what happens. When he gets into the room, there's this puddle of yellow under him, so I'm guessing that's pee. I'm not going to the cursed room because I don't want to take the unnecessary damage. Let's see here. Got two bombs. Maybe the, maybe the secret room's here? Nope, no such luck. Well, phooey. What about here? Nope, no such luck there either. Well, 
fine. No curse room. I mean, no secret room. Let's go this way. Oh, it's Wrath. Here, take your bomb back, buddy. What? You should not have even hit me. I wasn't that close. Okay, I think this game is cheating. Take your bomb back. I don't want it. No, I don't want your bomb. At least he can blow up on his own bombs, which is pretty fantastic. Um, should I take Mr. Boom, or should I have Spider Butt? You know what, I think I like Spider Butt better, because it hits the whole entire screen. That's my thinking on that, anyway. We could take Mr. Boom and try and find a secret room, but i I give up on the secret room for now. Let's just go fight the boss. And hopefully I have the HP for this. Gertie Jr., okay. Bash at me, bro. Oh, you son of a bitch. You were supposed to let me hit Spider Butt before you dashed. But I had no idea when he was going to do it. Can't see very well with the darkness. <sighs> it's tough to see. He gives you no, um, no telegraphing when he dashes. He just does it like that. He's not like Dingle. Oh my god, would you just die? Because I, I have a feeling that I'm probably on my last heart of sorts. Thank god. Oh, magic mush. Good, good item. Perfect. Alright. So what I'm going to do on this floor, since I'm kind of... I'm afraid of our HP situation, I really am. So I'm just gonna use the stars card. Go straight- oh my god, is that Polyphemus? That is Polyphemus, isn't it? Oh no, it's Mom's Eye! Oh no, that's so bad. I thought it was Polyphemus. Mom's Eye is so bad. Oh my god, I was so excited. Mom's eye is so bad. I would have rather had Mom's contact. It's it's actually good. This is horrible. It's almost not at all useful. I mean, it'll be somewhat useful in the Mom's fight. You will not really have to aim as much. Uh, what's this? Telepills. Great. Not exactly what I wanted. Jeez. Okay, it came in handy there, I guess. I was able to kill the little chub and the little wall turret guy, so that's kind of cool. Honestly, I like these black ones better than the white ones. Because the white ones are like moths, you know, they're super accurate. Whereas the black ones just kind of swirl around. I'm actually glad that the white ones are easier to kill. Because I want them to die first. There's still another white one, I know it. Because I saw an accurate. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw an accurate shot, but I guess not. Guess I was wrong. I do want that heart, but I do not have very many bombs. And I would like to save my bombs for that one bomb area. That would be pretty great. Oh, great, Maws. In the dark. Fun. Come on. Just die before you shoot. Die before you shoot. Thank you. Yay, they didn't even get to shoot. That's what I'm talking about. Oh god. Are you kidding me? How about you just die? Thank you very much. So yeah, unfortunately the only damage upgrades we've gotten is in Capricorn and Magic Mush. Which really... I mean, I don't feel like it's enough. I could be wrong, but I really don't feel it's enough. Hopefully we'll get more. Oh no you don't. No you don't. Stop spawning your little spiders. And you guys can stop being your total dickbagness. Okay. So if I remember correctly, uh, Mom's Eye only has a chance to shoot a tear out the end. Or out the, out the other side as you can tell. It doesn't do it all the time. 
Um, definitely not going to the curse room. Still haven't found any more bombs. This is bothersome. Oh my god, would you get off of me? Seriously. Go to hell, you dumb spiders. I'm pretty sure this is just caves. God, this is a horrible cave. So many freaking spiders. You could die. Thank you very much. Okay. So that's just going to lead over there. Oh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get in that bomb room. Which would be really useful because it's probably an inn or a bedroom or whatever everybody calls it. Okay, so I know that I'm still not down to half a heart. So that's useful to know. Would you guys please die? Thank you. There's another arcade. Maybe this one will be more useful. Slightly. I do have lots of money. So maybe we will be able to bomb our way into that bedroom or whatever they are. You can die. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Um, Mom's eye is quite useful when it comes to those turrets that are on the wall like that. Oh, that's a bony. Stupid bonies. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you. Okay, so let me see here. Still not half a heart. Um, no idea what my hearts are at, though. Um, I got plenty of money, so I'm actually going to bomb this first. So I can grab a heart. One heart. That's it. Alright, let's see if we can get some bombs from this. That'd be nice. No, I don't need keys. I have plenty of keys. Pills or bombs would be nice, because if they drop the pill, um, bombs are key. That would be ideal. Would you stop giving me freaking keys? I don't need... Oh, well, I do need hearts, so I'm not going to be sad about that. Oh my god. Seriously? Oh, there's a pill. What is it? Speed up. That's horrible. I was already fast enough. Stop giving me freaking keys. I've won four keys off this damn machine. Come on. Heart? Well, I still need red hearts. That's good. Oh, don't need them anymore. Good. Would you just die? Please, I have so much money. Are you ever going to let me win bombs? Five keys. Countless flies. Two pills? Two pills? Or one pill? One pill, I think. No bombs. Well, it's not like I need it anymore, anyway. I don't have to get to the end anymore. My luck must be completely awful. What's this? What is it? Puberty. Not, not a fantastic pill. What's this? Good pill? Explosive diarrhea! No! Bad, bad pill. What's this? Explosive diarrhea again. I'm gonna try and use this a little better. Okay, bro. Oh my god, I found a secret room. Surprising. I didn't even expect that to happen. I was just trying to blow up these pots. Okay. Yeah. More keys. Like, I need those. This machine is paying out with nothing but keys. Ooh, it's so hard. I'll take that. Um. Come on. I don't need red hearts. I don't need keys. Give me bombs. Oh, a bomb. Thank God. Just one bomb. That's all I got from it. I could blow you the crap up, but then I would waste my one bomb. Um, yeah, let's just go take on the boss. It doesn't seem like it's getting any better. Oh, it's Gertie. Okay. Suppose we can take on Gertie. Oh, shoot. It seems like Mom's eye never really comes in handy. 
Unless you really don't need it to be firing tears. When you actually need it to be firing tears, it like never fires tears. Oh, is this the Gertie that just summons stuff? Really? Are you kidding me, Gertie? Yeah, it is. It's it's the Gertie that just summons stuff. He doesn't even fire. Okay, well that's good to know. So I don't have to dodge his shots at least. I just have to dodge his pooter shots and his whatever those things are. On the ground, the tumors or whatever. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Oops. Except for when you don't actually dodge the shots. Then you have somewhat of a problem. There we go. Toothpicks. Tears and shot speed. Um, sure. Why not? Tears up is good. Let's see. See how many times it misses the back eye? It misses very often. I think it's like a 50-50 chance or something like that. And it misses a lot. Um, yeah, let's just go. It's not like I need that red heart anyway, so I don't need any of the red hearts that were left on the floor. Okay. Is this Necropolis? Oh god, I think this is Necropolis. I'm seriously in dangerous speed territory, though. Whoa, troll bomb. Don't want that. Okay. Well, should we go in here? Ooh, what is that? Scorpio! Good! Good, 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 good. You guys can be poisoned. That is, that is fine with me. That's fantastically fine with me, my friends. Oh god. Alright, I'm ready. Oh, I thought I was ready. Whatever. I don't care. I'm not going back in there. It was worth it for the- what the hell? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my god, he's, he's sucking me in towards him. That's... That was kind of horrifying. Did that door just get blown open? Looks like it. Oh, jeez. Red booters. Not good. I, I forget what their name actually is. I'm not taking that speed uphill because, like I said, I'm already in kind of dangerous speed territory. <clears throat> And I call it dangerous because it's very hard to maneuver your character at incredibly high speeds. And that can cause you to get killed. Very easily, actually. Whoa, jeez! Teratoma. And these turrets. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, good. What's this? Good luck up. That would have been useful on the last floor. Actually, well, no, I think these tears poison all the time, so I don't think luck has anything to do with it. Oh god. This is so bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna lose this run. This is really, really difficult. And the fact that I don't know how much HP I have, this is just not good. Why can't I hit that heart? Oh my god, just die, would you? Thank you. Okay. I wish the hearts couldn't attack. That would be... That would actually make those guys a little bit easier. Oh, jeez. That was a little close. I gotta admit, I can't believe I didn't take damage there. Is this an XL floor? This better not be an XL floor. Wait. No. It just seems so big. Oh. Hell no, I don't want that. I am promptly dropping that crap. Because I am already fast enough. Oh, that was a perfect room. I'll take that, I guess. Greater chance of finding bombs, I think. Uh, poison touch. Oh no, Roid Rage. Oh great, more speed. The range up is nice, but speed? Oh god, this speed is horrible. Way too fast. Whoa! I didn't realize that was an Ipecac sack. You can die. Thank you very much. That's a spider sack, and it's dead. 
Okay, that is a double key room? Oh, it is. Let's see what's in here. Reroll. Four. Give me one second. I gotta check out my site real quick and find out what a four means. I don't remember four. I don't think I've come across four, actually. I think it might reroll all your items that you have. Let me see. Uh, four dot. Rerolls all pedestal items on the floor. Oh, okay. So it's like a d20, I believe. I think that's how a d20 works. So that's not actually going to be useful because we have no pedestal items on the floor. But maybe if I find one that I don't like, I can reroll it. Let's see if there's anything good in these fires. Nope. No such luck. That is alright. Oh god. This this could be really bad. Because if they get poisoned, they are going to be firing all the time. Whoops. Oh god. Yes. Yes, this is really bad. Poison is really bad with these guys. Or fire. Anything that does damage over time is really bad with these guys. Uh, let's see. I mean, of course it helps kill them quicker, but it's just not so good. Actually, no. Nah. I'm not even going to worry about the deal with the devil. Like I said, I don't know my HP, so... I'm not going to be taking any deals. All I want to do is get the mom's heart, or mom, that's it. I don't have to get the mom's heart, just mom. Ugh. Let's go ahead and blow this guy away. There we go. Golden keys. That would have been useful before I opened that double lock, but eh, you never know what is on the floor. There are no pedestal items, right? What was down here again? There was some some star item. That? Red patch? Oh, I didn't even know it was here. I couldn't even see it. You know what? I'll grab that instead. Rage seems like it might be a little bit better. I should be bombing the skulls, but I don't really have that many bombs, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. We'll just head to the boss and hope for the best. Oh, God. So much for hoping for the best. I do not like the adversary, so spider butt didn't work. It didn't work, really. Yeah, it didn't work. What in the hell? Oh, I hate that move. Not as bad as his brimstone. His curved brimstone is such bullcrap. Oh, he's gonna jump. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, thanks for... Thanks for that card, buddy. I don't know what it is, but thank you. What is this card? Strength. I'll use it. I'll use it. It's a steroid, and it gives you a heart or something like that. Would you please die? Alright. What is this card? Two of clubs. Sure. Evil range and shot speed up. Okay. That's not exactly what I wanted, but I guess it works. So yeah, spider butt didn't work on him, I, I don't know why. I didn't know he was immune to slow, but apparently he is. Wow, we got another arcade. Amazing. I only had six gold. Okay, this guy might drop some gold. He looks like the gold color. Yep, gold. Oh, don't step on the creep. Just, just let it die down. Okay, don't need hearts. That's good to know. So I'm obviously at full health. And I think full health is, what, two hearts? I'm trying to think. I can't remember if I found any HP ups. Oh wait, no, I, I think I found a health up pill. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. You can die. You can die too, good. I hate it when they jump around, so when you kill them before they jump around, that's a pretty awesome. You can die, little poop. Thank you. Alright. Let's go this way. Nope! Nope, don't even want to deal with them. 
perfect room for spider butt. Because now they are 100% dead. Sweet. And I took no damage, so that's great. Okay, not gonna worry about that room. Let's go down this way. Oh, a beggar. Hmm. If I had flight, maybe, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh god. These brains. They can be a problem sometimes. There we go. Well, not gonna be getting that. Nope. That's alright. Black hearts, not too bad. Oh god. Four, really? Jeez. Should be one more left. Thank you. This way. Oh god. Oh jeez. Wow. Alright, so like I said, Mom's Eye can sometimes come in handy, but it's not the most useful item. Um, do I want the flush? Do I really think it's better than Spider Butt? I don't really think so, because I don't think you can use it on bosses at all. I mean, if I didn't have an active item, I'd obviously take it, but I'd rather take Spider Butt, because you can actually use it on bosses. Well, some bosses apparently can't use it on the adversary. Or maybe I just missed him. I don't think it can miss though, it hits the whole entire room. What is this tarot card? Strength again, nice. Oh wow, look at all these bombs. There's our boss room. I think I'm just gonna go look up at this big room real quick. I think we're having a pretty decent run, surprisingly. Didn't look like it was gonna start out decent, or it didn't start out decent, but looking pretty good now. Wow, are you gonna get poisoned? Wow. Um, poison? Thank you. Alright, so that's good. That just goes up there. We got you poisoned. Wow, the poison does not last long on Chub. Or Big Chub. Look at that. It doesn't last long at all. Unless maybe it just doesn't last long altogether. Alright, Chub. Bring it. You're almost dead. Damn it. You're dead. There we go. Didn't mean to take damage from little Chub, but... Eh. I guess what can you do? Want that coin? Let's go down here. Oh god. Oh god. Please just die. Please die. Thank you. I just wanted him to stop spreading his poison creep around. There we go. Now if I can just get this bomb fly. There, he's dead. It's all done. Okay, what's this? Puberty? Sure, why not? It's not a bad pill. It just makes it look like a bad pill, but it's not actually a bad pill. It's actually just a neutral pill and does nothing bad to you. Alright. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Don't have to wait for these guys to pop up. That's awesome. Alright. Now all that's left is Mom. Well, we might as well take a peek in the arcade and see what's there. Might as well. Maybe there's something useful in here. Uh, not particularly. Guess I'll go ahead and play this too. I don't feel like playing you, dude. Oop, what's this? Speed up. It's useless. Because my speed is seriously way too high. I would relish a speed down pill now. Oh, I can feel the luck up already. 48 hour energy. Not, not especially useful. Do I need that heart? No. So I'm at full health, which is nice. It's good to know. I do like being at full health, and you know, just in case, since I have three or one and a half hearts there, I'll play this three times. Get a little bit of money. Be able to pick up these hearts. Well, that one's done. Let's go ahead and use the rest of the money on this guy. That wasn't very useful. 
Sure, why not? Um, I'm not 100% sure how much health we have. I think we only have two hearts, so I'm just gonna do two plays. Oh wow, that was good. And then I'll grab one heart, and then two more plays, and grab the other heart. Instead of actually doing four plays and grabbing the two hearts, because I could have died. I don't know. I can't remember picking up any HP up in this. I could be wrong, though. Maybe I did. But better safe than sorry, I suppose. Maybe this guy will pay out with something. Maybe some fly love would be nice. It would help the mom fight a little bit, because she... or things in the fight do summon flies. And it'd be kind of nice if we didn't have to worry about the flies. Well, that's probably not gonna happen. I don't think I'm gonna have enough money for him to pay out with it. Wow. My luck is feeling pretty good, and it's only at two bars. Oh, come on. I wish they would make this guy a little faster. It takes forever. There's no point in even animating it, because you can't watch it anyway. You can only watch it for a little while, and then it goes too fast for any human eye to see, I think. Wow, thanks for all the money, dude. Wait, do we have a shop? Where is the shop? There's no shop? I don't... I don't understand why there's no shop. Isn't there supposed to be a shop on Mom's floor? Oh, whatever. If there's no shop, then I can't donate. I was gonna donate a whole bunch of money instead of play this guy. Oh, there's Fly Love. Can I get it? Oh, failed. Wow, even failed to get the money that time. Oh, come on, Fly Love. Oh, you bitch. Come on. Because I think it's all about you're supposed to watch what skull... What skull goes where, but there's no way you can see it. Once it starts the second half of the animation, my eyes completely lose it. Even if I'm not tired. Come on, fly love. Son of a bitch. That's why I just always pick the same skull. I mean, you can pick different skulls, but I just always pick the same one. I don't want to be bothered to look at it. Because I've already, you know, come to the conclusion that my eyes can't keep up with it. Well, as we have the strength card, that should help out a lot when it comes to mom. Because I think that gives us an extra red heart. And are you ever going to pay out with any hearts? Oh, you son of a bitch. I don't know why I did that. I should have let that troll bomb blow you up. In fact, for what you did to me, you will die. For making me lose that black heart, which I could have used on mom. Alright, so that's gonna be it for that. Maybe we should go see if we can find a secret room. Maybe it's up here. Oh, you bastard. Yep, there it is. And it's greed. That's not at all useful. You could maybe die, though. That would be nice. Oh, God. Would you just die? Thank you. Ugh. Can't go in this way, because for some reason they made it so that you can't bomb your way into the secret rooms anymore. I think. So it won't let me go in, and even if I use a bomb, it won't open. Because I think they made it so that you can't do that anymore, which really sucks. It does. I'll take that heart, and not that heart. Let's see if we can find the super secret room. Um, I think it might be right here. Wow, good call. That was a useless room. 
All right, let's do it. Let's fight mom. And if we win, this challenge is over. Never have to do it again. Good. That'd be pretty fantastic. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, this is red mom, isn't it? That means even if I would have got fly love, it would be useless. Because I don't think this one ever summons flies. Spider butt. Ah, oh, that didn't help at all. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I got it now. Not too much more. Yes! Synth oil? Really? At the very end? Really? Alright, we're done. The Rune of Hagalas. Alright, so that was a successful challenge. A bit of a bugger of a challenge, but successful nonetheless. Um, I haven't gotten to check out what the videos look like with the boosted up gamma, so I'm going to try still being at 110 normally, but that challenge I have, of course had to bring it up. The rest of these challenges, I don't know what to do with them. Um, oh god, number one, really? Okay, so I start out with number one. Looks like Poop Bombs, E. coli, and the Flusher. Great. And I am Isaac, I believe. Um, it's tough to say. I mean, I think I'm Isaac. Oh wait, no, it's not the Poop Bomb. It's Petrified Poop, it looks like. So it's all pretty much poop stuff. The interesting thing about number one is you can kind of paint the room. See? You can see where your tears splash because it stays yellow, which is kind of weird. Oh, do I have fanny pack too? Looks like I might have fanny, fanny pack. See, on the back there. I could be wrong. That doesn't look like it. Unless that's E. coli. Some range upgrades would be pretty fantastic. Alright, so I'll have to find out what I'm supposed to do in this challenge. I don't know. Oh god, it's super dry. Oh no. Oh, that was horrible. I don't think this is gonna work. Nope, it did not work. So yeah. Um, the flusher or the handle does not work on bosses or mini bosses. Oh my god, would you get the hell over here? Blow up that rock, thank you. Now you can't hide behind it anymore. That's alright. It's alright. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There we go. The sun. That's actually kind of a useful card. I might be using it here soon. I'll take that hard. So yeah, number one is incredibly short distance, but I think it's pretty powerful, actually. Well, my damage isn't very high, so maybe I'm wrong about that. I thought it was pretty powerful, though. Maybe it's just that it's a high rate of fire. God damn it. There we go. Okay. It's a little bit better. Now I now see I could actually use some speed in this run. That would be nice. Let's see what's over here. One lock over here is one lock as well, or two locks? Two locks. But there's nothing I can do about it, but I do have a ton of bombs. So I'm gonna try right here for secret room. Oh, I do have butt bombs. I might have to remember that. Good pills? No, puberty. Not, not good, but not bad. Let's go ahead and bomb these mushrooms, see if there's anything useful. Good pill? Oh no, 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 no! Oh crap, I was hoping to get some of those mushrooms over there, but whatever. It's okay. No biggie. 
I don't see any tinted rocks anywhere. So we won't worry about the rest. We will take off. The haunt. Oh, great. The haunt should be tons of fun with number one. And by tons of fun, I of course mean not fun at all. I mean, I of course mean zero fun. Oh god. Whoa! Good lord, how did I not take damage there? I went right in between the haunts. Was, uh, threading the needle, so to speak. Um, you know what? I'm gonna use the sun. Freaking screw it, I don't care. Oh god, that was so scary. No, I don't want your brimstone, buddy. I don't want any little bit of your brimstone. Oh, thank god. Synth oil, yes. That is a good start. Alright, let's head down. So, it looks like, again, we just have to kill Mom. That's pretty good. Maybe all the challenges are just kill Mom. I don't know. Wait, was there no item room? Uh-oh. There may be no item rooms in this. That might be what this challenge is all about, or one of the parts of the challenge. Great. Oh, it doesn't look like these spiders can actually jump over rocks. That's useful to know. I don't know if I knew that. Would you just come over here and die? Thank you. Um, I don't know if this is going to be especially useful. Actually, it's not. I want petrified poop. But the problem is, I haven't found any poop yet. Oh, there's some poop. Just when I say I haven't found any poop, there's poop. No, you can die. I hate spiders. Oh, right. Uh, e. coli makes poop, though. That might actually be kind of useful. Uh, let's go ahead and bomb this. That's going to concuss all the enemies in the room. So we might as well capitalize on it. Turn that guy into poop. Let's see what's over here. Ugh. That wasn't very good. I want this key. So I will take it. Pretty good. Works for me anyway. Uh, that's good. Let's go this way. I'm just going to use the flusher. Turn all the enemies into boot. Hence the reason why it doesn't work on bosses. But it seems like it synergizes really well with the uh, petrified poop. Although I could be wrong, maybe it doesn't work at all together. Hmm. Okay. There's a bunch of hearts in this room. I need to remember that. Just in case I need them. I'm sure I will. There we go. Um, I don't think I'm going to spend too much time blowing up stuff in that room. I'm going to conserve my bombs just a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and place one right there. And one right there. Okay. Now let's get rid of these TNT. It'll blow up all those rocks. And let's keep going. Alright, so number one is actually pretty strong now, which is great, but no, actually the range is much better too. Synth oil must be a range up as well. I don't know, I don't really remember what it is. I just know that I'm not going to be as sore if spiders hit me. Because at least they'll turn into poop. I'm kind of okay with that. Um, we're not going to go to the shop. Because I just don't see it being very useful with only 12 cents. So let's go to the boss. Pin. Hello, Pin, our old friend. Oh, man, this is much better. Look at that damage. Oh, my God. And this is why Synth Oil is a fantastic upgrade. 
because if I remember correctly, we've only had synth oil for damage upgrade. Oh, son of a bitch. I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but there's HP up. That's good. Uh, we got plenty of hearts. Didn't get any coins, so let's just head on down. Not even going to worry about the secret room. <clears throat> All right. Is it worth it? No, I don't think it is. Maybe if I pick up some more bombs, it would be totally worth it. Wow, that was truly lame. Oh, <gasps> quad shot? Oh my god, I'll freaking take that. Yes. Eh, it does make our tiers a little bit lower, but oh my god, quad shot is so good. Anybody that sees this stream is going to be like, oh my god, you are so freaking lucky. Because, you know, quad shot is the stuff of dreams here. And if I can get some, oops, if I can get some more tears up, oh my god, that'd be fantastic. Quad shot pretty much makes this so it's going to be a guaranteed win. As long as something bad doesn't happen. Which it could. Don't get me wrong, it definitely could. I don't even want to worry about that room. Maybe if I get some extra health, I'll go self-sacrifice or something. I don't usually do it, so... Ah, oh, you... Are you kidding me? Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, I hate these rooms. Cursed room, I might think about it, but not right now. I wish I could grab that black heart, but that's not going to happen. Yes. Alright, let's go down. So, so far I'm loving these challenges. They're pretty fun. And maybe it's just because I'm getting pretty good runs with them, because I think they're actually supposed to be really difficult. Fuck that room. Not going to worry about it. Just going to turn everything into poop. Because it works. Oh, that's horrible. How was I supposed to know that poop would drop a dime? Should have let the fly come in a little further. I can't get that dime. Oh, well. Whatever. Let's go this way. Uh, no. Okay, is that it? No, there's one more room. I'm hoping to get at least one cent so that we can go into the shop. Because it'll make it worthwhile and maybe we can buy the 15 cent item. Might be really good. No, wait. Fires, come on. Give me a scent. Aw, oh, you buggers. But you know what? We've got the bombs now, so let's go ahead and open this chest. I have a good feeling it's going to give some money. Money? Give me money. That's not money. That's trickle charge. Um, it's not bad. Ah, sorry, I had to get some drink. It's not bad, but honestly, I don't think it's that good. Um, we'll try the cursed room. See if it's got any money. Probably not. What's this? What is it? Good stuff. Balls of steel. Great pill. Grab that soul heart and puberty. I was hoping for telepills. That would have been nice. But that's okay. It's okay. We're not... Not doing too bad. Um, I have a feeling the secret room is probably right about here. Yep. Good hunch. Oh, there we go. That makes the shop worth it. So let's go to the shop real quick. Oh, nice. Um, well, I don't want that. That sharp plug is not good, in my opinion. But I will buy this, and I will buy this, and I will buy this. That's pretty fantastic. What? He doesn't have a donation machine. I was going to donate. Darn. 
I wish he had a donation machine. Oh, I wish I could get that black heart. Oh, we might actually get a deal with the devil here, too. Because I have so many soul hearts that will protect my red hearts. Not to mention quad shot. Oh, hold on. I believe this is a tented rock. And so it is. Another soul heart. Nice. And it's just Chubb. Chubb's not too bad. Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh, stop your charging, little Chubbs. Chubbs not so bad, but the little Chubbs are what was throwing me off. But I still haven't taken red heart damage, and I'm not going to, so deal with the devil. Yes. Let's get the box first. Uh, whoa, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's see, Mysterious Chocolate is pretty bad. Balls of Steel is fantastic. Wheel of Fortune is pretty good. I still have 10 cents, so it might be incredibly worth it. What have you got in your red chest? Oh, spiders! Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you so much. Um, what the hell is that book? Is that the Necronomicon? Hmm. That is the Necronomicon, I believe. Alright, so let me look up what the Necronomicon's um, charge time is. I know what it does, but I want to see what its charge time is. Uh, let's see... Do, do, do. Where is the Necronomicon? It is right here. The Necronomicon. Its recharge time is six rooms. Really? But you know what? I think it's going to be much better than, than the stupid flusher. And I'll take Gimpy too, because, you know, who doesn't want soul hearts? Seriously. If people don't want soul hearts, then they should just stop playing Isaac. Soul hearts are great. Oh god. Alright. I saw that going much worse, but... It actually worked out pretty well. So quad shot number one doesn't really seem to be the greatest combination because it doesn't have the real range, but it's actually not too bad. Something gave me a range upgrade. As you can tell, I got four bars in range, so that's not too bad at all. Um, I'll save the curse room for a little bit later. We'll try and save the Necronomicon for either a really terrible room or the boss. Ooh, perfect. Golden key, that's nice. Um, pop up. Thank you. Ow. Yeah, pop up just like MTV's pop up video. Anybody get that reference? Somebody's gotta get it, I know. I can't be the only person that knows what pop up video is. Come on. I mean, it was a long time ago, you know, back when MTV actually used to show music. You know, it was a phenomenal idea that a, a station called Music Television would play music. And I say that because nowadays, they don't play music. What do they do? They don't play music, that's for sure. Hero Fun. Fantastic card. I probably will still hang on to the Wheel of Fortune. And sorry about the MTV rant, but you know. It is true. I mean, I remember back in the day when, uh, when I used to watch old music videos, like old, old music videos, um, at night on, uh, I forget what they called it, but it was just, it was a really good, like, three hours of music videos. And I was like, this is awesome. Does MTV do that anymore? No, stupid um, reality shows and junk that people shouldn't even be watching because those people shouldn't be famous in the first place. But, I mean, we here in America, we love to make stupid people famous. I mean, look at, look at PewDiePie. He's super famous and his videos make your IQ drop. And if people want to defend him and say they don't make your IQ drop, well that's because your IQ has already dropped. And people with low IQs can't really tell that they have low IQs because, you know, you're not smart enough to figure that out. 
If you don't like that, well, you know what? I'm sorry, but the truth hurts. And that's why everybody's like, well, you should do face cams. Like, no. No, I don't want to do face cams. Some of my favorite streamers do not face cam, and they're just fine with their streams. That means I do not have to face cam. I don't want to do it, one, because I don't think my computer can really handle it. It's only dual core. I don't know if it would be able to stream the game plus my face cam. And two, I mean, I don't want to be like everybody else that's doing the face cam stuff. It, it seems to me like it's kind of a way of pouring yourself out on Twitch. Not, not that it's a... Not that I'm uh, trying to, you know diss anybody that does it. If, if you want to do it, that's fine. But to me, it just seems like, you know, it's kind of like, hey, this is what everybody does, and I'm doing it just because everybody does it. And I don't want to do that. I'm just streaming because I love it. I'm not doing it because everybody does it. I mean, honestly, if zero people did it, I'd still stream because it's super fun. A little more fun when people actually come in the room, but, eh, you know, all in due time, I suppose. Let's go to this arcade and see what, what is good here. Blood donation machine, probably not going to be using it. Wow, I can't, that's all it gave me was puberty, really? Let's try our luck again. This one's a little more lucky. Give me something good. Come on. Ooh, bombs, that's good. Come on, really? Yeah, that's that's a good amount of money there. I'll take it. Oh, another heart. Or er, well, that's a full heart now. Is that puberty again? Really? that one. Ugh, tears down. Terrible. No! Crap. Oh well, well I did manage to get two hearts, so, or one full heart. <clears throat> so that's two plays on this. Not to mention if you have Gimpy, you take damage from it, so you have a chance to get a spirit heart, or a uh, soul heart, sorry. I'm picking up Northern Lion's bad habits of calling them spirit hearts. Oh, dude, you're gonna get peed all over. Oh, did you see that? I saved your life. You were trying to give me a troll bomb. When in all actuality, all it's gonna do is blow yourself up. These guys must like committing suicide, I guess. Wow, like, look at all this pee. Seriously, it's horrible. Give me something. Bombs, yeah. I'll take bombs. Oh, hearts, yes, please. No, you bastard. Come on, hearts. Damn it. If he would have given me hearts, I would have played the machine more. Um. Well, there's no reason to go to the shop. And, well, I guess I could bomb the crap out of you and bomb the crap out of this machine. Nice. More monies. Good. Good, 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 but still not enough for the shop. And look at all these red hearts everywhere! Look at how many red hearts there are. So ridiculous. But I don't need them. Let's head to the boss. Gertie! I know, I have hearts all over the floor, don't I? I can't use them! Uh, it was great. Why not back and forth? Oh, right! On the machine, that's right. I think I will, or I would, but I accidentally blew it up. My bad. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I could have made the shop worthwhile, but this is just a challenge anyway, so... It should be okay. So far, this challenge is going pretty fantastic. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy.
the secret rock rooms? Oh, you're talking about the, uh, the crawl spaces. I've found a couple of them. They're not easy to find, though. Uh, like, um, sometimes it can take you to the black market, too, which is, oh, it's amazing. But they're so hard to find, they have no tells at all. Oh, this room is going to be an absolute mess when I'm done with it. There's going to be so much pee in this room, it's going to be crazy. Whoa, that was close. No, don't touch me. Yeah, I heard about the I Am Error room. Um, I've never found it at all. I heard that you can find it with the shovel and with telepills, I think. You have to teleport as often as possible to stumble across the item, or to cr stumble across them. Really? How would you do that? Is there any way to, like, teleport? Well, I mean, I guess you could use the teleport um, item if you find it. The teleport remote. Oh, jeez. I don't like this room. I don't like it. So far, this challenge isn't too bad, though. Um, die please? Thank you. Ew, mom's toenail. Don't want it. Yeah, teleporter's the best item for it. Only has two two room recharge time, I think. So yeah, I would imagine that's a really good good item. Uh, another one might be broken remote. Because every time you get hit, you know, you have a chance of teleporting. You don't even have to wait for it to recharge. Just boom. What is this? What is this? Purifant. So good. If you could get a way to farm infinite item energy, you could roll for it until you get it. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, not me. I don't have the D6. Oh wait, I know what you mean. To keep teleporting until you get it. Um, let's see. There's some way you can do it, I'm sure. I wonder if maybe if you stack 9 volt and, um, what's the other battery that shrinks the time? I know there's 9, oh, 9 volt and trickle charge. I think they work together. Trickle charge can use it to bring down to a 1 room charge and then 9 volt will make it a ticker charge on hostile rooms, I believe. I don't know, maybe they don't actually go together. That was horrible, I lost all my soul hearts. It's terrible. There are a few strategies to get infinite energy, usually usually by abusing six-sided dice. Is the is the D6 really that good for getting infinite energy? I I can't really see how you could do it. Unless you re-roll something into a battery, but I don't think that works. Cause I know that the ticker charge works. I've done it with Guppy's head. Uh, Guppy's head plus nine volt makes it a ticker charge on hostile rooms. So you can use Guppy's head uh, more than once on a hostile room. It's pretty fantastic. Oh, you son of a bitch. Wait, does that mean... Does that mean that I have to fight all those hands all over again? Even the ones that I already killed? That's horrible. Oh. That's it. When I go in there, I'm just gonna drop all the hands and Necronomic on them. Because I'm not using the Necronomic on. Uh, not for energy, for using infinite energy with? Oh. Huh. I don't know how you would do that. Come on, hands. Drop down. Come on. All of you. There we go. Goodbye. Didn't even want to deal with it. Telepills. What the hell is this? Is this the I am error room? I found it with telepills? Holy crap, how lucky am I? Isn't this supposed to be hard to find? Well, thanks for the range up, dude. Can I bomb this guy? Should I bomb him? You know what, I'm gonna bomb him. Aw, oh, nothing happened. Oh, it's one of the many error rooms? Ooh. I didn't know there was a ton of them. Ah, oh, crap, but it makes you go down. 
I wasn't even done exploring that level. They can give three items, or they can be a shop with rare items? Whoa! Oh, that was him? <laughs> Sorry, creator of the game. I had to bomb you. I thought I'd get something special from it, but apparently not. Mud bombs are really nice, I like them. So yeah, this, uh, I think this run is, oh god. Oh, Necronomicon, where are you when I need you, buddy? This is so bad. Oh, and I'm dead. Yeah, there was nothing I could do. That's a horrible configuration to get that room. Will this do the challenge again? Yes, it will. Okay, good. I'll try it again, see what happens. I don't really want that hard. Well, actually, I can't use it. I would want it if I could use it, I suppose. Would you please die? Thank you. Whoa. Monkey paw. Um. No, I haven't done the tech challenge yet. I don't even know if I have it, actually. I'll have to check and see. Um, I've only done one challenge, and that was the pitch black one. This is the next one in line, and I I don't really understand it. I guess you just have number one, you have butt bombs, you have E. coli, you have the flusher, and you're supposed to go fight mom? I don't really get it. It's amazingly fun. Is it uh, technology based? I'll have to check it out. If I fail this one, I'll definitely check it out. Because if it's technology based, oh my god, yeah, that sounds like fun. I love technology. The only thing I hate about this challenge is there's no item rooms at all. So you're stuck with number one and you just have to hope for really good um, items and whatnot. And I don't think I'm going to take the petrified poop this time. I think monkey's paw or whatever, yeah, I think it's monkey's paw will be better because if I remember correctly it gives you three black hearts when you're down to one red heart or something like that. And then it just disappears, which is actually really useful. Yeah, the, the secret rooms still are there. Um, and it starts you out with a bunch of bombs too, which is kind of nice, and that's probably due to butt bombs. Because if I remember correctly, butt bombs is one of those that give you five bombs. Why do I hear guitar? Is that normal? Do you hear that? That electric guitar? I've never heard that in a cellar before. Oh yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that. Well, actually, the secret room can't possibly be here because it's never connected to the uh, boss room. I'm starting to learn my rules for the secret rooms. Where it could be, though, is right here. Bam! Just like that. So it was on the other wall. Um, let's see, uh, the super secret room would probably be, um, it's, it's a crapshoot, but I think it's right here, so if I put it right about there, oh, maybe there is no super secret room, it is only the uh, first floor, I don't think they have, I don't think they always have secret and super secret rooms. But that's okay, let's head on down. The haunt. Oh god. You know, I might actually use flush here. Oh, is it is it like something secret? What the hell? It didn't work on the haunts. I was hoping it would at least work on the little haunts. That, that is bullshit. I mean, I know it's a boss, I obviously can't use a flusher on the boss, but can't I use it on his little minions? Come on, give me a break, game. Ow. The haunt is a bastard. Nobody likes him. Nobody likes you and your brimstone shot, dude, but thank you for the red heart, or black heart. That was Monkey's Paw, by the way. Which, Northern Lion's like, I don't want Monkey's Paw, why would I ever want that? It's like, uh, it's a good trinket, man. If you knew what it does, it's a good trinket. 
Oh, thank God, HP up. I'll take that. Okay, so what is that? Comments, electric, tar electric guitar in the basement theme? It says mystery solved. Is it really a mystery? Is it something, like, useful? Theme fades in and out depending on whether there are enemies in the room. Just something I noticed was wondering why it seemed to be random when the electric guitar started playing. There are enemy sensitive themes for every room. Whoa! Holy crap, I did not even know about that! That's super cool! It didn't happen for all the rooms though. Like every room that had enemies in it or whatnot. It was just that one room that I noticed it in. Unless maybe it's just completely random. Wait. Ah. Uh, was I just bleeding there? It looked like I was bleeding. Like right here I had like dropped a little puddle of blood or something. I don't know. Ow. Oh yeah, right, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> Never mind. Rusted key. Um It's not bad, but I honestly think I'm gonna need monkey paw. Those black hearts are useful. If monkey paw gets used up, then I'll go back and grab the rusted key. I mean it seems like it would make sense. I could have checked there for a secret room, but I honestly don't think it's gonna be there. More than likely it shouldn't be anyway. Sometimes they do only border two rooms, though, so I have to remember that, too. Get over here. Thank you. It's probably gonna be right. Well, it is probably actually gonna be right there. I didn't finish exploring the whole thing to see that there are three rooms there. This room is not cool. Thank you for the black heart. Well, Monkey's Paw is almost used up now. Let's see. There's no way I can get this Tented Rock and the Secret Room at the same time, but I can get the Secret Room. Oh, it was so close! I think if it borders two rooms, that means it's attached to a super secret room? Um, I don't think so. I've never seen the secret rooms attached to each other at all. I could be wrong, though. That might be a weird rule, but I think they were saying on the wikia that um, it can sometimes border two rooms. Most of the time it's three, but sometimes you can find the secret room bordering two. And the super secret room always only borders one. Oh my god, these, these pills! Oh my god, these pills! Oh, Jesus! Aww. Oh. And the last one wasn't so good, but whatever. You know what? I'll take Liberty Cap. Probably going to be a little bit more useful than the one charge left on Monkey's Paw. Hopefully. Nah, I don't want that one. No, I don't want that one. Would you give me the fast fire rate? Ah, whatever. That's why I wanted fast fire rate. I don't want to take unnecessary damage. But apparently the game wants me to take unnecessary damage. Oh, there, now it is. Of course. Now they have to be like, oh, right, that's the one you wanted, right? The mini mush? Yeah, that is the one I wanted, game. But that's okay. Oh, wow, that's, that's incredibly lucky. All right. Come on. Give me something good. I need keys now. Well, thanks for turning into a poop. That's one thing I noticed too. The uh, the black flies are neutral. So you can run into them and they won't do any damage to you. So if you use that in tandem with, say, like um, Midas Touch, you can turn all black flies into gold and get extra money from them. And never even take damage from it. Same with, um, there's something else that doesn't hit you on contact, too. 
and I can't remember what it is. I know the red ones do. They hit you on contact. But the black ones? Yeah, if you see black flies, you can touch all of those with Midas Touch and then kill them and get just tons of gold from it. I was thinking about that and I was like, wow, that is a good way to kind of exploit the game. <laughs> just a bit. I don't really need Rusted Key. I don't see how it's going to be incredibly useful, especially when there's no items. I don't need the shop that badly. Um, let's see, where would the super secret room be? It's definitely not going to be there. I think it's going to be right here. Ha! Totally right. Thank you, Blackheart. So the reason why it can't be here is because I learned in the Wikia that it can never be anywhere that's not accessible from a walking character. So since these rocks are in the way, it can't possibly be that wall or the wall over there. I mean, if you could fly, then it's still walls, but that's what they were saying. If it can't be walked to and you can't walk to the wall because of a hole or rocks or these stupid little things that you can't do anything with, then the secret will never be there. So it's just, it's kind of useful to know. I don't know if everybody knows it or not, but I did learn that from the Wikia, so. Just in case nobody knew it. Definitely makes the uh, finding the secret rooms a little bit easier. Because you don't have to worry, you don't have to be like, oh, there's a rock on the wall. Let's bomb through the rock and then bomb the wall and see if the secret room's there. You'll just know that it's never gonna be there because that rock is in the way of the wall. I don't know if it was like that in vanilla, but I don't know, that's what it says in here. So far it's worked. No deal with the devil, are you kidding me? I didn't even take a hit. I call shenanigans. I think I have every right to call shenanigans on that. Well, thanks, Sloth. Or wait, that wasn't Sloth. That was his little buddies there. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That makes my life a lot easier. It's not what I wanted to do, but I guess it works. Oh, Bob's rotten head. I'm um, sure. Why not? I think it's probably a little bit more useful than the flush. Oh, the Joker card! So good! <laughs> hey, I say shenanigans because of uh, South Park. That episode was hilarious. I loved it. Brimstone? Um, don't mind if I do. Wait, am I going to be able to do it? Oh my god, look at that. Brimstone plus uh, number one. Super fast charge rate. I love it probably not that strong. It is not that strong. Oh, this could be bad, actually. Oh, it's a quote from Super Troopers? Really? Oh. I was just quoting uh, South Park, because I love that one. It was like, we, we call shenanigans on this, uh, this carnival vendor. And it just, it, it made me laugh super hard. Actually, this is not bad at all. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not quite real brimstone territory, but this is this is a bit of alright. <laughs> and I figured out why I hate Azazel, too. Um, I was watching Northern Mayan play the, or the older um, versions of Rebirth, and Azazel charges his brimstone about this fast. This is how fast he can fire it. And now in this version, in the new version, since people are complaining about Azazel being too easy, he takes forever to charge his stupid, worthless, short-range brimstone. And that's the reason why I don't like him. And he doesn't get better either. He doesn't synergize with anything. He doesn't get range. He doesn't get anything. Well, he could get damage. And I think he can get tears up. But in the beginning, like, he takes forever to charge his Brimstone, and it's super short range, so I just, I don't like him. Everybody's like, he's easy mode, but I don't see it. 
I don't see it at all. If his brimstone was like this, hell yeah, he'd be easy mode. I would agree. But it's it's not. His brimstone sucks. I know it's just my opinion, but you know what? I think it's a pretty educated opinion, because I've played him a lot, and I, I don't like him. But, like, I'm watching the old Azazel, and I'm like, oh my god, he looks so easy. Because you don't have to charge for, like, two years to charge up his brimstone. And he had, well, he might have not had more range, but I'm pretty sure he had more range back then, too. Just a little bit more range. And if he had just double the range that he had, I'd be happy with him. I'd be like, okay, that's not too bad. But I feel his range is just too short. Ooh, is this a library? Oh my god, what is this? Magician, it's useless. Ooh, temperance. Could be useful. Oh man, should I take the Book of Shadows? I know it's a good book, but I don't really have anything to synergize. Well, actually, I have E. coli. Hell yeah, I'm taking the Book of Shadows. I can just invisible or invincibility and then just touch everything with E. coli. Have you fought the special mom room battle yet? Uh, you mean like red mom? I fought her a couple times. I actually like fighting her. The one that lets you pick one of four items. Oh, right, the uh, boss rush mode. No. Hell no, I don't even know if I'll ever get to that. I'm so slow. Like, I explore too much. And I never make it in time. Because I know you have to beat Mom within 20 minutes. That was horrible. And I just, I never make it in time. Like, right now I'm only on Caves 1. And I'm like at 15 minutes. Yeah, you just got a speed run for it. I probably will. I'm definitely going to be doing it. Because I want to do, um, like, everything in this game, if at all possible. But I don't know if I'll be able to get any hard mode achievements, because honestly, normal mode is hard enough for me. Hello, guys. Let's have you become poops. Let's have you become poops, too, because I don't like you either. There we go. Oh my god, that is so good. I don't think it'll work on bosses. Ooh, an eternal heart. And this is just a mob trap room? Yeah. The boss rush item rewards for each character are great. Oh, I know. I've seen him unlock some of them. They're so good. Which makes me super try it. One of these days, I definitely will try it. Trust me. I just I got to get a little bit better. I still got to practice cuz I didn't even play vanilla at all. This is my first time playing Isaac. This is like my third week, I think. Something like that. Oh god, this looks like it's going to be a double trouble room. Oh no, I don't have my Book of Shadows charged. Oh well, who cares. Oh god, it's going like... That's okay. That's okay, I've got Brimstone! I have super weak, weak Brimstone. But it charges fast, so that is good. And that is one Gurgling dead. And that is... I was going to say two Gurglings dead, but not quite. That is another Gurgling Dead, and another Gurgling Dead. That was fantastic. Could not have asked for a better boss. Ooh, deal with the devil. What is it? Is it good? Oh wait, that was Brimstone, my bad. Downward. Yeah. I saw some of those, um... Some of those unlocks, and I saw some of the unlocks that he got for like beating the dark room and beating the chest and stuff. I was like, oh my god, I can't wait. But they look so hard. Um, trickle charge, I don't honestly think it's gonna be that useful in the Book of Shadows. Oh wow, that was. That was way overpowered. That was way more powerful than I thought it was gonna be. Just imagine getting damage upgrade with this. That would be fantastic. I mean, like I said, well, my tears is only one, one little bar, yet this charges like super fast. It's amazing. Oops. Whoa, I almost took that shot.
I don't know if that works. I could try. Oh, you mean the... The self-sacrifice room? I don't know if it works. I know you can't cheat it with Holy Mantle. So I don't think you would be able to cheat it with Book of Shadows either. If I find one, I'll try it. <clears throat> Just to see if maybe I could get like a whole crap load of chests. <laughs> That'd be pretty great. Stupid bonies. I still don't like you guys. Oh, the spike room up top? Oh. Oh, right. You mean the, uh, the cursed room. Oh, yeah, definitely. I usually save them for last, though. Because maybe if you find, like, a hanged man or something. If I find hanged man, I can go in there for absolutely free. Because Book of Shadows, uh, I don't know if it will carry on my, uh, my invincibility inside the room. I think it resets when you go into a new room. But I could be wrong. If so, that would be pretty fantastic. I'll have to try it. Man, all right, that was great. Nice. That makes the item shop worth it. Goodbye. Pop up. Hello. Hello. Hey, you. God, these guys are such assholes. Oh, so you're gonna pop up. Oh, now you wanna pop up. A little too late, buddy. Do you wanna pop up if I go here? No. Okay. There we go, that works. This room is kinda tricky. Alright, that works. Oh, there's the self-sacrifice room. I could actually, I could actually try that with the Book of Shadows just to see if it works. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. But hey, if it did, I mean, you could seriously cheese the self-sacrifice room. Let's give it a shot, because I might be able to get it charged up again to use the curse room before the curse room. Oh, see that? That was a good test there. That was a good test to know that it only stays in the current room. So it was a waste, but it was a good to know. So that means that I will not be able to get out of the cursed room completely unarmed. But that's alright. I'm not even worried about the cursed room anyway. It doesn't do that much damage. On the womb, that might be a good time to use it. But I'm not even going to have to worry about that. And I don't have one heart, so I'm not going to the boss trap room, that's for sure. Whoop. I want trickle charge. Uh... Nice. So far, already worth it. Oh yeah, totally worth it. Spiders, the greatest reward of all, in my opinion. Hearts all over the place. Let's see. I'm going to count how many hearts we've got. We've got a half a heart there. 